Hello everybody and welcome back to Bomber Crew, Colonel Caper Cafe here. And as you can see on the board, we are under the Secret Weapons DLC tab and we have so many green check marks. But the last mission is up on the board with the big bullseye. That's right, we will be flying Operation Phantom today. This is a critical mission of medium duration, medium risk with an enemy ace back in the area, believe it or not. The enemy's advanced aircraft production is almost crippled. Time to strike the final blow. Command has received rumors of a new type of fighter that is invisible to radar. Stay sharp, what? Which I always just, I, I keep reading this over and over again in preparation for the mission and I noticed it. Of course, last time I don't know what they mean by what. I'm guessing it's just how people spoke back in the 40s. Of course, if we take a look at the enemy fighter ace board, we've defeated all of them. But we do know from past experience that the only person who's flying an airplane that is visible to radar is Nico Noxerer, and so we will be up against him again for this one. Perhaps one change that is finally overdue is giving Emmerich Nortelius, one of the longest serving members of the Wings of Democracy, an oxygen bottle. And so I think we can afford the 170 pounds and we've given Ortelius an advanced O2 bottle so that uh, they do not get downed again like they did last time due to a lack of oxygen. And with that, we're ready to begin the mission, so let's get going. And welcome back to Bomber Crew as we take off in the wings of democracy for this DLC Critical Mission, the last one in the Secret Weapons DLC. Kind of uh, bittersweet that it's uh, it's over and it kind of means that the war is coming to an end for our amazing crew. But of course, as we have seen in previous missions, we're not indestructible. So if you would like to join the waiting list for the Winds of Democracy, leave a comment down below with your name. We are getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Nico Naxer, is active in the area, just as predicted. Of course, we're going to fly to high altitude and juggle some of the crew around before we get to the area. The mission uh, factory is quite far away, but we're pointing in the right direction, so I'm sure we'll get there without issue. So you may have noticed that I did not post a video on Monday. Uh, that is because along with many other people in, well, the city and the province that I live in, uh, we were struck by the remnants of Hurricane Debbie. And so it dumped a whole lot of rain, 175 millimeters of rain uh, to be exact. Uh, some places got more, some places got less, but it did mean that uh, my basement flooded and my parents-in-law basement flooded as well. And so Friday evening was spent cleaning a lot of that up and then we got some enemies to our right. And then Saturday was also spent drying out the basement. Uh, we had it not nearly as bad as some other people did, so we're certainly grateful for that. But uh, it was a, a setback, and it meant that that Sunday I wasn't able to do the normal YouTube recording that I love to do for all of you. And we got a break in the enemies. Uh, who's coming up here? You, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, someone in the YouTube comments uh, who is a big fan of Bomber Crew, they asked, why don't I target everybody? And mainly the reason is I don't want to listen to my gunners shooting at the enemies. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah, I think you are shooting at the enemies when I don't need to listen to them because they'll never hit them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> These enemies down below here. Our gunners just aren't good enough to destroy them when they're just zooming around like this. And so rather than listen to rat-a-tat-tat for 15 minutes, I just don't target them at all. Of course, that has caused problems in the past because I have descended to altitude and then I had 10 enemies just ready to shoot me and uh, I became a bit overwhelmed. But anyway, the uh, flood water is all dry. Our neighbor was kind enough to lend us his wet dry shop back and so that made short work of it. My parents in law house, they would have been fine as well from the amount of rain that fell. It was just that a pipe burst and so it was leaking water into the house. Yeah, I think they're coming. Here they are. Oh boy. Um, 
Maybe we'll do... Emergency dive. And then we're going to have to have everybody focus, I think. In fact, actually... Well, I don't know if we'll be able to climb quick enough here. This will be interesting. I've never... We're diving now to levels that... Oh! Jeez! Yeah. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to tag all, I think. Going to have to... Ev everybody focus. Oh, Fruit Jr. and Ortelius are getting hurt. Oh, good. We have Ethan and Peggy shooting up a storm back there. Um, Ethan, maybe use... Oh, <laughs> all right then. <laughs> good job. Oh, now these, these are rocket propelled dive bombing missiles. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We might need to corkscrew this one. Oh, is there a third one? Okay, corkscrew. Oh, I don't know if I corkscrewed that one in time. Oh, that was close. Good piloting, Sir Arvid. Unfortunately, now, though, we have lost our course, so we're going to have to descend to low altitude to figure this out. And in the meantime, Frug Jr. is really hurt. I'm going to send Frug to the medical bay. Maybe send Peggy to heal up Artelius, although we have two, two fighters right next to us. Are they going to get to us or not? I don't know. They're very far away. Oh, we do have enemies below now, though. We're going to have them targeted because we have to stay low now that we've lost course. But Frug is back. Frug is going to be able to... Oh, we're so close. We're very close to the destination, the bombing site. That's good. All right, Peggy. Good work. Good work healing everybody back up. All right, let's get us turned around. We can probably stay at mid-altitude. So our bead. We have no choice but to fly through this flak. We're going to fly right through this giant thundercloud. Yeah, we found the bombing site. Let's target it before we lose sight of it. And then let's get everybody shooting. Including Seth. Oh, Pancake. Oh, good work. Good work, everybody. It's a bit dangerous for Pancake. All right, Pancake. Time for you to get into position. It's RV. Let's go to low altitude here. As we fly through very misty cloud, there is factory number one. And three, two, one, bombs away. Excellent hit. And then let's swing a left, mark at the next site. And I think very soon we're going to have Nico in the area. It might be a good idea to call in the Spitfires right now. And KK getting ready for the next delivery. Your Amazon package is here. And there we go. Second factory destroyed. We're going to have to return to base. We've had reports of a fighter that doesn't show up on radar. Keep your eyes peeled. Yes, indeed. Now, very soon, I think, once we get the next heading, I'm going to take us to high altitude. But hopefully the Spitfires can get here soon. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, but here is Nico. All right, high altitude. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to move Seth down just yet. we got to keep our eyes peeled for Nico. But apparently the Spitfires are engaging. Where? <gasps> of course! Uh, fire missiles? Fire all four missiles. Oh, missiles are doing a good job. <laughs> but he is not dead. Alright, Peggy. High explosives. Focus up. Have we lost sight of him? Possibly. Whoa, that was close. Uh, we've lost him again. Oh, 
But the Spitfires come in clutch, along with our rockets. Nico didn't stand a chance. And we emerge from the clouds victorious. Now it's just a matter of seeing what else does the enemy have to throw at us. The spotlight has spotted us. We weren't able to avoid those spotlights. And so enemies have shown up on radar. I don't even know how many, five, six dots there. This is going to get interesting. If we can just keep boosting, we can avoid them entirely. And as you can see on the map, we have crossed over to the sunny shores of England, which means that we can begin our descent. So the radar evading plane was no match for the Wings of Democracy and her amazing crew. And if you feel like supporting this crew, maybe consider giving the video a like. And if you don't want to miss any of the future missions, or maybe if you miss some past missions, uh, you can consider subscribing to the channel so that uh, you can catch up on all of that. As always, I would like to thank our YouTube members whose names appear on screen right now. As always, I am Colonel Caper Cafe, and if you'd like to watch past Bomber Crew episodes, they are up on screen right now, as well as Man Cave Chris's Hardcore Valheim series. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Uh, welcome back. It seems I have forgotten. I have forgotten that the Secret Weapons DLC has this cutscene with the crew celebrating the completion of defeating the enemy's secret weapons. Uh, we can only stand by and cheer them on ourselves, which is funny because, of course, I wasn't expecting that. I guess I completely <laughs> forgot about that, but what a fun surprise. Uh, join me in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye.